Hello everyone, welcome back. We are about to finally make Coquito. <laughs> That's how you say it, Coquito. We're using our friend Joss 1994's recipe. I'll put it on the screen. She just told us her recipe and it seems a lot simpler than I was thinking it would be. Let me read it for you guys. But we got all of the ingredients and we're gonna make it tonight. We'll probably have it. It's three days until Christmas? Yeah. Right? Yeah, so maybe we'll have some on Christmas Eve and on Christmas Day. I think it's just three ingredients. Is it really I, just these three? I know, that's what I was What thinking. about the spice to make it, do you put like cinnamon or nutmeg? Yeah, well she says to put cinnamon on here. Condensed milk. And then coconut milk. So we got the Goya coconut milk because she said it's a little bit thinner and we thought we might like that a little bit better. And then rum. Bacardi, she did say make sure you get the light, like as far as like light in tone, not the dark liquor rum. And then you do cinnamon powder, you blend it, you chill it for at least an hour and you can store it up into your fridge for your refrigerator for five days. And yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm excited. I am too. You look so good, but I didn't realize it was so simple. I looked up a couple other recipes and a couple other recipes that you guys sent me had like um, evaporated milk and other things, but this one was so simple. We were like, okay, we're gonna try that because I am all about simple uh, cocktail recipes. I try to make them as simple as possible and things that are like easy to get your hands on. You might even have them in your pantry, that sort of thing. Yeah. So, let's make this. Christmas Eve and we are officially trying our Christmas Coquito. I almost tried it last night, but I was like, no, we have to wait. Yeah. We gotta try it, be real. Yes, he was adamant about giving our <laughs> you were <laughs> our first impression really on the vlog. But we made it the other day and it's been in the refrigerator. It's been really tempting. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you get the punch of rum. Yeah, you do. That's really good. Wow. This is the less creamy one, she said. Mm -hmm. I could actually have it a little bit more creamy, but it is yeah. good. Yeah, we should try it the creamier one as well. It did actually thicken up a little bit in the fridge. It, was very, it wasn't very thick at all when I first made it, but it's been in the fridge for a full day. It reminds me a lot of eggnog. Yeah, it, me too. It doesn't have all the same but flavors. It does taste but, better to me. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, this is really good. So thank you, Joss, for, we always call you Joss. <laughs> yeah, this was super easy too. Oh, so easy, which is totally our vibe. Like yeah. we love easy, simple recipes that we can share with you guys that you're more likely to have the ingredients or be able to find the ingredients. Yeah. And the ingredients were easy to find. Yeah. Yeah, except for Target. Target didn't have like the Goya brand for the coconut milk. But, but we got it at Kroger. Kroger, yeah. Yeah. Especially yeah. easy with just the two of us. If we had a family or when we were with family, mm -hmm. I don't mind spending the time and making it and doing it. Yeah. Or two people, I don't know. So simple. But maybe we'll try next year if there's a more complex one. Mm -hmm. But this is super good. It's so good. We have a whole second jar here for maybe today or tomorrow. I can make more because we bought enough to make two batches. Yeah, you're already almost done with yours. Yeah. The recipe is listed down in the description. And yeah, now I'm gonna do, so we have some cooking to do. We are gonna do kind of like a Thanksgiving. -ish. Yeah, we're gonna do a Thanksgiving dinner for Christmas Eve. Because when we were in Oregon, we had Thanksgiving, but there was so many people and we were talking where I didn't even really get to eat everything on my plate because where I was talking and then it got past yeah. the time. And then, you know, when it's so big, it's like you don't get everything you want or it's not, it, it was more about family than yeah. the food. And then we had like a Friendsgiving, which was good, but once again, we're hanging out, we're talking. So it was like, 
you wanted it. And usually I'm sick of Thanksgiving because you have leftovers and after like three or four days you're like, okay, I'm done. Yeah. But we never had leftovers or anything. No, so we, didn't. we decided to do Thanksgiving today. We're making, I got at Trader Joe's the, it's like a half turkey breast. So I'm just gonna roast it. And then we're gonna make mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. your sweet potato bourbon yams. Yeah, which are so good. I'll leave the recipe for that. It's so simple. It's basically yams, bourbon, <laughs> brown sugar, butter. You should leave it down. Well, yeah, I'll put it down in the description. People are gonna need it until next year. Yeah, though. maybe next year. Or you can just try them if you want, like a New Year's Eve dinner yeah. or, you know. I like how we say we're, we go all simple with this because of the two of us, <laughs> but I think this is different and it's Christmas Eve. Yeah, and we decided, we did a lot of shopping this month and we did a lot of traveling, so we didn't do like physical gifts. So we thought, let's cook together yeah. and spend some quality time together and that was gonna be kind yeah. of our tradition this year. Our Brandy's braids are not <laughs> so cute. Man. I've been wearing these for like, over a week. Uh, yeah, I beg her to wear braids just to change it up sometimes. It yeah. looks sporty and fun. Not all the time, but every once in a while. Never. And then, <laughs> yeah, last week she did it. I didn't, why did you do it? Um, I don't remember. For oh, I just thought it would look cute with a puffy coat. Yeah, and it was super. And then, and then people were like, oh, that looks cute yeah. that night when we went out. Yeah. And then for like a week straight, you've been wearing it. So I've been loving it. It's just funny. It's another. But it's so cute. Oh, thanks, babe. It's another good hairstyle for dirty hair. I mean, my hair is pretty dirty right now, but I was like, okay, hey, I'm gonna wear it for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, because it's actually nice to wake up to your hair in braids, because it's not, I mean, sometimes I wake up and my hair is wild, so it's cute, but anyway. So we're gonna make food, oh, and you're doing a table skipper. Yeah, I'm gonna put together the table and show that for you guys, or with you guys. With some more code. Coquito. And I did get some new shoes. I should share those with you guys. You wanna see them? I'm telling you, it, it's kind of funny because like we were just saying, not doing gifts, a little bit of you feels guilty because it's like, it's basically, we're it's ingrained in us our entire yeah. life, like Christmas, you do gifts. And we're like, we're at the age where if we want something, we buy it or if we want to get something for one another, we just buy it. But then also, um, I don't know, we still kind of felt. And I feel like we usually travel. I Sometimes I feel like those are our like treats through the, through the year. Yeah. We'd rather travel. And with no kids, it makes it. Yeah, you don't feel the pressure as much. Yeah. But except that everyone's talking about like, oh, I got my shopping done. I did Chris. And we got gifts for, you know, a few people. And we delivered yeah. those. And we made cinnamon rolls and delivered those. And so we still had some Christmas spirit. There's like a little piece of the you that feels a little guilty. But yeah. even though we talked it out and all of that, we still feel like, oh, should we have done something? Should we not? So let us know. Do you guys do gifts? How do you do it? And I just say, you make your own traditions. Like, you don't have to do those things if you don't want to. Maybe that's me just trying to make it feel better, but anyway. Yeah. All right. Right, so before I move the table, I have to clean off all my office stuff, which is like kind of a pain, but at the same time, it does make our like, <laughs> we're on our second one. These are strong. But These good. are strong. And I only did the three quarters of a cup that you told us to do. Not even the full cup. I'm actually gonna make the second batch. They're good. They're so good. Sure. Oh man. Anyway, I'm gonna try on my new shoes. So I gotta put some socks on. I'll show you guys. I got some platform Converse. You love me in Converse, babe. Yeah, I love. I got these because as a shorty, it's nice to have a little bit of a platform. It helps you feel a little bit more. I don't know about you, but when I put on a pair of heels, I feel just like like a CEO or something. So I felt like the platform Converse would be nice. The problem is I bought my actual size and I think I need to exchange them for a half size down. I have another pair of Converse and they are half size down. Whatever, long story short, I think I need to exchange them, but I wasn't sure about the platform ones. I thought if I try them on with socks, maybe that might be the issue. Oh, they're cute. But I can't do the high tops because I have such short legs and thicker thicker legs that I don't really like kind of like high top things too much on me. The problem with these shoes, I tried them on actually already and my feet were kind of slipping out of them. Maybe, that, maybe I don't need to exchange them. Anyway, hold on just a second. I will show you guys. Okay, socks are way better. 
Then I got these boots. I've been sharing these a ton over on my like to know it and Instagram. And I just finally was like, I am getting these. I just really love the way they look. Now this is different. So this would technically be like a high top, but this is different because this is a boot. So for a boot to me, you know, when you have like leggings on, it helps still elongate your legs because you're wearing like black boots with black leggings. I kind of feel like if you wear the same tone, it helps like elongate your legs. So that's why I went ahead and got these, even like a black jean. I have a pair of black jeans from Abercrombie that have like a slit in the front and these would be really cute with those. Cute. Okay, this is weird because I have one on one foot and then one on the other. Ooh, I don't know. I almost feel like I could have gone down in the converse, but if I tie them tighter and if I wear socks with them, I think they're okay. And I think they could be like a cute little outfit. So I have one shoe on each foot. So if it looks a little silly, that's why. So this is the boot. It's like a suede boot. These are from Schutz. I like these a lot actually. And I'll put together some outfits for you guys. And then these are the platform Converse. And I just thought these were kind of casual, but still really cute. I can't decide, like as you can see, when I walk, my foot kind of comes out a little bit, but I don't know, like they fit, they feel like they fit my foot well. It's just, maybe it's because they're heavy. Cause I feel like if I go a size, half size down, they might almost be too small. Babe, look at the Converse, you like them? Love them. You do? Yeah. And then the boots, I gotta style the boots better, but. Yeah, I gotta see the style of Converse. Where? Yeah, I don't think you love them. Yeah, I don't think I have any room to go down to half a size. On what, the Converse? Yeah, because my ones are a six and these are a six and a half. They look cute. I know, they're so cute. Cool. Anyway, I thought I'd share those with you guys because I just got them. Um, also, with the shoulds, I did go up a half size. So I went up to a seven. I'm typically a pretty true six and a half, but I went up in these just because... Sometimes boots, you know, with the calf and stuff like that kind of fit a little bit tighter on me. I'm more of like a wide calf, so I went up half size. I do like them. I need to style them and really see if I want to keep them. So I tried both on. I love them. I will say, I think it's because of them being a little bit clunky. I think that's why my foot is kind of slipping out a little bit. I don't think that they are going to be a problem. I think I just have to tie the laces pretty tight because if I order a half size down, I'm afraid that my toe is going to be squished up in the front too much. So I do think I'm going to keep this size. But Zach loves them. I think they're perfect for like a brewery date night or just like a casual date night. I love them. They're so cute. They give me a little bit of height. And I think with jeans too, they'll be so cute. But I just went with like a basic white Converse to be able to wear it with a lot of different outfits. But I am super, super happy with them. I was unsure to be honest with you guys, but we are keeping them. They're so cute. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the I converted my office table desk into our Christmas Eve dinner table. And I just kind of pulled some stuff that we have, some greenery, candlelight, and then the little lamp that you guys have seen on the bar. And then this is a very, very good Malbec. We got this for Zach's sister's birthday and we really liked it. It was really, really good. And it's actually not that expensive either. Very smooth, but we're going to dish up. 
You ready? I'm so excited. <laughs> Merry Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas Eve. Songs that we love. And then why we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire? Cause all I want is to spend this day with you.